Good morning. Welcome to Grace for today. Blessings to all of you. May the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you. And um, we are thankful for what the Lord has done and for what he is doing. He alone deserves the glory, the honor, and the praise. We'll give you a few moments. Let's see. Huh. Okay. So welcome. Just got a notification. So we'll wait for you, and uh, we'll get started in just a moment. So I want to remind you, tonight at 7 p.m., we will have Laced with Love, and we will be... Um, it's by Zoom only, so if you want to attend, you're welcome to. Good morning. Hey, y'all. Um, and tonight at 7 p.m., we will have Laced with Love. It is the Women's Book Club for our jurisdiction. And um, inbox me so that you can be a part if you desire. And then this Saturday at 11 a.m. Hey, y'all. Good morning, Sister Annie Ingram. And um, this Saturday at 11 a.m., <clears throat> excuse me, we will have a uh, journey with Jesus and uh, we're looking forward to seeing those of you who can attend. We'll be talking about uh, Tony Evans little book, winning your spiritual battles. And um, I hope that you'll join me. And it is, uh, we do have zoom for that, but we pr prefer an in-person attendance so that, you know, we can spend a little time with the Lord and, um, Fellowship with one another. So if you can, 11 a.m. this Saturday and uh, tonight at 7 p.m. for uh, Laced with Love. Let's look at the word of the Lord on today. Uh, we're going back to Psalm 37 and um, let's look at verse um, 20. It says 21. Uh, let's just read 20 for good measure. It says, but the wicked shall perish. First Sunday, I'll be in McLean, which is coming quickly. Uh, first Sunday at 2 p.m., I'll be in McLean, Mississippi at the McLean Church of God in Christ. Pastor Paul Brent, hallelujah, and First Lady Darlene. Um, says, but the wicked shall perish and the enemies of the Lord. And I know you find it hard to believe that there will be people who are enemies of God, but if the Bible is right, and we know it is, there are enemies of God. There are those who oppose, sometimes overtly, oppose God. Hey, Kirby. And uh, oppose the things of God. They may like you, but they don't like the Jesus in you. Or um, they like certain aspects of you. But overall, you know what? It doesn't matter because the thing is this. God opens a door before us. He makes a way before us. He shows us what to do. He helps us. Good morning to the boys too, if they're with you. We have to remind ourselves to stay in the face of God and know that we need to love what God loves, but also we hate what God hates. What does God hate? He hates sin. Not because it's so sinful, but because it keeps you from getting what God has for you. It keeps you out of the category of the best. It keeps you out of receiving what God has planned for you. He has a plan for you. He has a plan for you. You may not even plan your way, but God has a plan for us. So those who are enemies of the Lord, of the good, of the good things, of the will of God, of the plan of God, of our expectation of God. Good morning, Pastor Brent. Coming on first Sunday. All right. Good morning, Sam Travis. Here. He goes on and says, those who are enemies of God, he's not, the Lord isn't ever ashamed. We shouldn't either be able to stand, I don't care who it is, and I really literally mean that. We need to really choose we're going to honor God above all. He says that in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. It's the ironic thing. Last night, my, my pastor preached and used this same scripture. I hear God. He does line upon line, precept upon precept. 
Here a little, there a little. Good morning, Mother Fleming. We have to remember God sends us confirmations in the days of famine. They're coming. The days of famine are coming. Lord, help us to see when you're speaking to us. Sometimes we're slow. Lord, make us a quick understanding. Help us to see what he's saying. Help us to catch it. Let us not be ignorant and miss when God is showing us. I just said that uh, less than 24 hours before. I want you to hear it again. He read the same scripture last night. They, he says, in the days of famine, they, who? Those who are godly. Those who are on, who honor God, those who put God first, not just with their mouths, but with their hearts. They live a holy life. They live a life that's not displeasing to God. They shall, in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. Good morning there, Minister Glenda. They shall be satisfied. What comfort we ought to have in that? In it, he made this point, and I was going to make sure I said it. The days of famine are coming. Even in the scriptures, when there were days of famine, God provided for, um, provided for his sons and daughters. God provided for his people. When, when Joseph was in power and there was a famine, God provided for his people. And when they would not let them go, after Joseph had died, God still provided for them. When Egypt was dark, when Egypt had death, when Egypt had the pestilence, there wasn't any over there with the children of Israel. They didn't have that same issue. God will protect him. We don't need to fear because of what's coming upon the earth. There is something coming. That's why you build up yourself on your most holy faith right now. You build your faith now. We have to start confessing the word of God over ourselves, over our children now. Here it says again, in the days of famine, there is no question about it. There will be a destitution. There will be famine. But God will tell you what to do if you're listening. I'm not, you know, one of those doomsday uh, persons, but I do know this. God will tell you to start storing up, stocking up. Don't spend your money over there. He'll tell you to put your money up, get some money out the bank. He'll tell you, don't, don't do this. Don't make that issue. Don't do that thing because he knows the way that we take. He knows what our tomorrow is. He knows. He, you don't know. You are limited in how far. I wear glasses so I can see, but I am limited as to how far I can see. You're not an eagle who can see for miles. You can see as far, I can't see to the back of my house. I can't see my garage. I can't see it. Well, with, with my cameras, I can see around my house. But the point is, he sees where we're going. And he says, in the days of famine, they shall be satisfied. But he, the verse 19 says, they shall not be ashamed in the evil time. We will not be ashamed. Beloved, that's my confession. I will not be ashamed because I call on the name of the Lord. I will not be ashamed because I call on the name of the Lord. I, I wonder sometimes, I, don't know, I had this thought yesterday. Maybe it's one of the messages that's coming up. I don't know. But what if you lose something? Y'all remember seeing the little um, uh, meme on uh, Facebook where the little girl has a tattered and torn little bear. It's about that big and she's holding on to it because Jesus is standing in front of her saying, give it to me. And she, that's all she has. And she's trying to hold on to it. And behind Jesus' back, he has his arm, but he has a huge bear for her. Sometimes I wonder if we're trying to hold on to something and God is saying, let it go. Give it up. I'm going to give you better. Glory to God. I've got more. You, you're in famine and you think this is normal. But God says, I've got better for you. Just give it to me. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. 
Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil. Resist the devil isn't always a temptation to sin, but it can be a, the temptation to hold on to what is familiar, to hold on to what is comfortable, hold on to what is safe. You're in a famine. You need God to intervene. You need God to fix it for you. You need God's wisdom to know what to do. You need the favor of God. Kirby, I've been praying for you because you need the wisdom of God. Direction and you need favor. Hallelujah. And I believe God will do just what his word says for us. I believe he will show up. Yes, there will be people who will try to hold up our blessing. I got somebody holding mine up right now. And I'm praying about the best approach. God, give me what to say. Or to be quiet. There's a scripture. Be still and know that I am God. I will speak to you in the nighttime. Reveal my secrets to you. Be still. Be still. Sometimes we're too busy trying to figure things out. When God is saying just trust me. You don't need to fight this battle. Hallelujah. You might need to go fill out the application. And you might need to be able to call uh, in a day or two and ask, is it still? But you need to know where you need to be, God will provide. If you're a believer, if you're walking in faith without fear and doubt. Fear is not your nature. I believe God. I believe God. I believe God. He's going to do what he said. If I trust and obey, there's no other way. Who I can't sing this morning. My Lord, they done sung me out. But I believe God. I do. You better believe him too. Muster up all the little faith you got. Muster up all the little strength you got. Hallelujah. Oh, bless God. And just, I believe God. I don't know how God's going to do it. I don't know what he's going to do. But I just know, as my pastor preached last night, y'all better go back and catch that replay. He, Listen, the word of God is already in you, in your spirit, not your brain. And that's why you study to show yourself approved. A workman that needs not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. I told y'all a few weeks ago, you read the word of God in order to feed your spirit. So he can be strong and do great things for the kingdom of God. I don't even think I got to where I was supposed to. I didn't. But I believe that's, that's enough for today. We'll pick up tomorrow. I just want to make sure I'm found faithful. I just want to be faithful. That's it. You too. All right. God, listen, let's get after God. And remember I said the Lord, I know that was a word. This is seeking season. This is the season to seek the Lord. It's not the time to act the fool, cut the fool, none of that. Be with the fool, whatever. Let's go with God. Let's go. Exact. Edna Ferdinand, absolutely. Escort me where you want me to go. Listen, an escort leads. And usually it's the, the guy who's the escort. Well, if you're doing a date, uh, if it's other people, those people lead and you just follow. Help us where he leads. Me, I will follow where he leads. Hey, bless God. Me, I will follow. Hey, glory to God. And I can't sing the other part. I need some hydration. Listen. Go with God. Don't worry about the evildoers. You'll always have adversaries. And you need faith in God. Faith in God. All right, I got to go. Father, thank you so much for what you're doing in us. Stir our hearts. Let us be, uh, have, have your zeal and according to knowledge. Help us to dig deep in your word and to believe that what you've said, you will do. What you said, you will do. What you said, 
you will do. God, do it in us. Every man, every woman, every child, our children, our grandchildren, all of those connected to us. Lord God, and our church families, God, on our jobs, we ask you, Lord God, that you would intervene, that you would speak, Lord, that you will move for us. Help us to stay the course and trust you to order our steps. We don't want to go where you are not. Hallelujah. We don't want to go where you are. We don't want to look at somebody else where you are not directing us. We thank you, Lord God. We will not compare ourselves with ourselves, but we will stay with you. We will follow you. We will honor you. We will bless you. We thank you even now for all these things. Cover us, dear God. Be our healer. Be our speedy recovery. Thank you for these things. We receive them done in Jesus' name. So it is. Amen. All right. I gotta go. My time is gone, gone. I pray the word of God has blessed you and that you are strengthened with might and power in the inner man. Go back and catch the replay of last night's message by our pastor. You can skip the songs and stuff if you just want the meat. Uh, go and get that message. That will bless your heart. It will strengthen you. Um, God is looking for people who have faith. They're not playing. They got faith. That's us. We're the faithful people to our faithful God. Join me in the morning at 7.15 a.m. Central Time. And join me tonight, if you can, uh, on Zoom only, Laced with Love. Saturday morning, 11 a.m., we will have Journey with Jesus. And then uh, Sunday morning, we have Sunday School. So the next four days, we're all busy. But I just believe that God will give us grace to get done a whole lot of things. All right. Y'all pray for me. I'll pray for you. And we're going to watch God change things. All right. Absolutely. I saw a little bit of your district meeting. Um, is it, wait a minute, somebody's district meeting. I don't know whose it was. I think it was yours. So y'all pray for us, but y'all have a good time. Ours ended last night and, um, it doesn't stop things. We just keep going forward. Pray for us. See y'all in the morning, Lord willing. Until then, remember this. Time spent in the Word of God is never wasted and you have been graced for today. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.